Are we in a simulation right now? What is happening? What is happening? Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Blake from Blake Makes Music, the channel you're watching. And uh, I'm going to be reacting to a video, actually, that my my brother Tyler sent over. Um, this is something that apparently is is gaining some popularity, and I've heard good things about it. This is the song Hi Ren by the artist Ren. And I thought it was kind of cool that Ren's uh, YouTube handle was Ren Makes Music. This is Blake Makes Music. That's kind of cool. So props to Ren for that. Um, I know only just a little bit from maybe the thumbnail. And I did listen to this for literally half a second. And as soon as the first note dropped, I was like, no, I have to I have to watch this and, and give my thoughts. So if this is your first time watching this channel, I'm a musician. I try to do my breakdowns based off of that perspective. So I try my best to, um, to kind of give my insights on the arrangement, just kind of what I, what I think about from a production standpoint, songwriting standpoint, and all, all of those good things. I also, my main instrument is guitar if you're curious. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, cool. So this is High Ren by the artist Ren. Okay, so this is about where I cut off right here. So this is all fresh to me. That's a nice guitar riff. My gosh. Okay, hold up. So, um, that was gorgeous. I cannot play guitar quite like that, so that's pretty amazing. Um, I'm very curious to see how this goes. Let's just keep going. <laughs> My gosh. Did not expect this voice. Hold up. Okay. I wasn't prepared for this. This is very interesting. You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back. Deep down, you know that. Deep down, you know I'm always in Paris. I honestly didn't even know that uh, this dude is from the UK. So the heavy accent really threw me off. Um, if you haven't seen a, a reaction video on this before, I would imagine that some people probably have commented on the fact that playing that type of guitar riff and singing at the same time is incredibly difficult to do. Incredibly difficult. The rant on your pleased to see me. It's been weeks since we spoke, bro. I know you need me. You're the sheep, I'm the shepherd, not your place to lead me, not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me. Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time oh to be God. Distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are This is insane. And I don't mean that as like a pun, but this is literally like one of the most interesting songs and videos I've seen in a really, really long time. Um, obviously this is going to be from the perspective I'm assuming of all the voices in Ren's head, poor guy. Um, you're very talented though, but this is, this is, this is, this is, this is insane. I, I really like this a lot. That's a guide. You've been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect. to always being lied to. Okay. Take another pill boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10 step program. Look at the expression of this dude's face. It's so 
authentic. Your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great. And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Because when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you. You are. Oh my God, man. The amount of creativity that had to go behind just the concept of doing a song like this where you are singing, you're playing both parts. Obviously, this is a song about mental illness to at least some regard. And I have have not see, seen many of the lyrics yet. Um, I'm often wrong about what these songs are about. So if I am missing some sort of nuance or maybe there's something that I don't know about this artist, please let me know in the comments. This is one of the most unique sounding songs I think I've ever heard. Um, I can't really put a genre on this. I don't even, this is one of those artists I feel like, and this is my first time hearing Ren before. I This artist probably doesn't have a genre, I would assume. This is just coming from from Rin. Um, the amount of passion coming from this is insane. And then the simplicity of this music video, I cannot respect this enough. This is because it's, it's, it seems like it's maybe two to three shots, uh, one main shot and then back and forth. What that really does is really kind of, um, it obviously accentuates the, the voice back and forth because it almost feels like you're breaking the fourth wall with the way that the shots are coming down on on the um, on the artist Ren, but like it makes you pay attention to the lyrics. And I feel like a lot of music these days don't you don't really get enough focus on the lyrics. So this is this is genius. Me, you are I, I am we, we are one, split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. I never write hooks for the Man. radio. They never even play me, so why would I consider... What is the irony that I just said all of those things about Ren having the genre, and then this is where we're at in the song? That's crazy. That. But my music is really connecting, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough. This is breaking the fourth wall. So it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you To guide you Remind you To manage expectations Provide you perspective That thing you neglected I get it You wanna be a big deal Next Jimi Hendrix Forget it Man it's not like that Oh my god Man this is heavy This is heavy Um Okay Man Wow Okay So I'm kind of like Blown away here About like basically every aspect of the song in that we're still only hearing a, an acoustic guitar and vocals. And I have to say, like, I don't know if Ren is actually insane, but I definitely appreciate this interesting perspective of some of the thoughts that probably a lot of um, musicians maybe have with themselves. So in some way, it's kind of relatable. Uh, man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. The well, Seriously, like, it's like, what is what is happening? Okay. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with this. Are we in a simulation right now? What is happening? What is happening? Conscious Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan I was literally thinking... I was literally thinking that I hear some Eminem nuances to his uh, phrasing, but I feel like a lot of people do that just because the amount of, uh, you know, when Eminem like came on to the music scene, he was completely different and just kind of like, like took everything by storm. Hold on a second.
I'm gonna re I have to rewind this a second. Oh, let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was not done previous. A battle with the subconscious. Eminem did it. Played on guitar. Plan B did it. Man, you're not original. Oh you're dreaming. Oh, my God. the pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ren, mate, we've heard it all before. Oh, uh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you. I don't need you. I don't need to hear this. Because I'm fine. My God. This is... This is incredible. And I, I, I say this mainly like if you don't make music, you have no idea how often people have this conversation in their head. And it's almost like every day musicians feel the need to quit. The ones – me, I every day I have this conversation in my head, not to this extent and put this beautifully, not even close. Like uh, obviously there's way more, um, way more art into, into this song. Than whatever I have in my head. I, I think about this in a lot more simpler terms. There's a lot of musicians out there that have a lot of self-doubt. At the same time, they have the conflict, like the conflicting ideas that they are onto something great or that they're special. And it's almost like musicians, there's some sort of I've said this before, maybe not on my channel. Uh, I've said this before on some music advice videos, there is a correlation between delusion and creativity. And it's almost like they're interconnected. And to some degree, at least in my experiences, I feel like the artists who are more creative tend to be more delusional, not in a bad way, delusional meaning like, like you're wrong, delusional meaning like you operate in your own, your own world, like the things that a normal person would be um, experiencing someone who's delusional doesn't quite doesn't quite feel that and may or may not have a self awareness to their particular life experience and it almost seems like and this is just me being completely speculatory by the way I am not a psychologist or anything but it almost seems like in my experience working with so many musicians that the ones who really do a great job are the ones that are aware that they are a little delusional and know how to pull back some of their manic ideas um, or uh, so that they are more achievable, uh, some of their goals, you know, um, instead of focusing on being famous and having a Grammy and, and selling out stadiums, it's more of like, how can I use my creative momentum to achieve the next step instead of thinking was going from level three to 20. It's like, I need to go to level three. What's level four? If that makes any sense to anybody, if I'm making sense, let me know if I'm not making sense. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, the other thing is, is that it, <sighs> there's some sort of like creative expression that goes along with that, that I feel like a lot of artists can get lost in. And it makes it hard for them to manage their music career unless they are able to pull themselves out of a manic episode or they have someone with them that can help them along the way. And that's why I think bands do a really good job in terms of being able to capture their momentum is because they have each other to work with. And when someone has a bad idea or is kind of like not being productive, someone else in the group can pull them along and it's more of like a train as opposed to like someone wandering on foot you know by myself i'm a genius and i will be great and i will make waves and i'll shake up the whole world beneath us that's right speak your truth your fucking god complex leaks out of you it's refreshing to ask you say it instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process and if people can find something to relate to within that then that's just a bonus fuck you i'ma fucking kill you ren i'ma fucking kill me then let's fucking have you ren i'ma do it there's so much going on and 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 this it's a story obviously so many great songs are stories this is a commentary on what it's like to be a musician and I have to give I'm honestly a little speechless right now I have to give the most this is the most nuanced song I've ever heard about what it's like to be a musician at least these days you know like being an independent artist 
this is the conversation we have in our head sometimes, but this is this is great. Watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die. Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. <sighs> News flash. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. Right, exactly, because one's <laughs> This is the devil and angel having the conversation. It's great. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning. Lucifer, oh Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender. Deceitful pretender. The banished avenger. The righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse. My name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal. What? Feeble and normal. You want to kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision. That catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death. The beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend. Oh my god, there's so much genius in that one little section. First of all, I feel like I'm watching a Broadway musical, and if any of Ren's other songs or anything like this, uh, we have, I hope they are. I hope that I n this may be the best one. I don't care, but if it's if I'm able to experience like a story like that between one man and his acoustic guitar, that's incredible. This is incredible. This is powerful. Um, here's a little fun thing. This is where the musician in me uh, is commenting on something. So we just talked about this side being from the devil. Um, Ren is playing a. Um, a flat five in these chords, a diminished chord. And back in, I want I don't know what the era was, but I remember this in music history a long time ago. That is typically known as the, the devil's interval. That's why this is completely genius because even from the composition standpoint, this is, I, this is as well as put together. This is, this is crazy to say, but like from the five minutes so far that I've heard of this, this song is so well composed. It's just as beautiful as like the first, like the, the first three phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is like, it's beautifully done. I cannot say anything higher. There's no higher praise than that. Now we're descending. This is amazing. Oh, it's like slam poetry with like a hint of like medieval melody and rhythm. This is, this is amazing. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night. This has to be the hero's – this has to be the hero's, like, like journey too, right? Is this not? Are we – Are we, we're seeing a battle. Like, this is a battle. And I'm assuming based on the dynamics of the arrangement that we're about to overcome the evil soon, I hope. I Man, I hope. But if not, I'm, I'm still not going to be disappointed probably. It has dawned. Just as sure as the rainfall soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch or shake So cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs Oh my gosh, and he can sing too? <laughs> what is... This is bonkers This is bonkers that I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire the me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise, in the music that I left behind 
Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coin with a different side Oh, so before we go to the next section, because I heard half a strum there, this is such a strange thing to comment on. But if you're a musician, you may appreciate this. Or maybe if you're not, that s small little tale of reverb was so beautiful. <laughs> this guy has to put on the, the most amazing live show. If... Like, I, there's no way he doesn't. This has to be – I would watch – if he has a band, that would be cool. But, like, I would go to a, a, a complete set by this dude by himself. How do they – I know this is – the simplicity of this video, and I, I really hope that there are some people out there who are as aspiring musicians watching this right now. You look, I if you ever wrote a track half as good as this, there's no reason for you not to have a following, okay? Um, but I want to tell you that in order for you to be successful as a musician, you have to have video, some sort of video content, something that's interesting. This is the most simple creative setup. Maybe rented some cameras. It's in a room. I don't have to tell you, it's the most simple thing. You can analyze this yourself. The only thing that's crazy is that they are controlling uh, lights to the music. And for all we know, someone may have like, like, uh, a couple of the smart devices and they're just tapping on like an on off button. We, I don't know, but it could literally be that simple. So there's no excuse for anyone not to make a music video. This is amazing. <laughs> there's so many genres, so many genres happening right now. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax, and I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Wow. Okay, we're going to go down the Ren rabbit hole. There's a few rabbit holes I'm going down, but I'm adding this to the pile. Um, okay, let's do. Let's try to pull some final thoughts for this if I can. But first, if you have not subscribed to the channel, uh, I would appreciate it to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. And most importantly, if you could write some comments down, let me know what song you would like for me to react to next. It'll be the pinned comment. Let me know and uh, give me some more suggestions. 
So let me give my final thoughts on this. This has been, to me, probably the most, this is the wildest reaction experience I think I've ever had. Um, There are, like I talked about earlier, there is some sort of, there's got to be a connection to someone who's creative and delusion, a sense of self important, a God complex, just like it was written in the lyrics. This is what musicians feel. This is crazy. And I, I don't mean that like, because I'm watching what looks like a, uh, an insane asylum from like back in the day um, for the video concept. But wow. And the very, here's the, here's the best part. The most captivating thing at the end, because you had my attention the whole time, was usually if I'm listening to a song and they just talk at the end, which is rare, I'll just skip it. I'm like, I, I came here for music. But this dude had a message. And to be able to say a message at the very end, and you've completely earned me as a fan. Not that you need me. I, I assume you've got a lot now. Um, Wow. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't think that this uh, music video is going to get the recognition that it deserves. This has been, to me, the best music video that I have ever seen. Ever. And it's so simple. And it's by an artist that I would assume a lot of people don't know about. Obviously, um, and when I say that, I mean like I assume that Ren is not signed to a major label because when I clicked on this video, there was a hyperlink to di- to a DistroKid account, which is amazing. I use DistroKid too, um, but that is not a major label music distribution platform. But wow, I don't have anything other than this is this is incredible. Thank you for watching. I I this, I'm literally speechless right now. I don't have I have nothing to say other than I am blown away. I have nothing else to say other than that. I'm shooketh. This is crazy. Okay. Uh well, Tyler, thank you for sending this to me. I finally got a chance to to listen and watch this. Um Let me know what you thought about the video, about the reaction. If you would like me to react to more videos by Ren or other music you think I would appreciate, please let me know in the comments. I would love to check out some more stuff. As always, uh, go ahead at the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the thumbs up button, like I mentioned earlier. And if you are a musician, make music every day. Peace.